Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly vlogmas. I really am going to try to be so much better this week. I feel like I had a really good start to vlogmas last week. Hopefully you guys would have checked out week one of vlogmas. I'll leave it here. You can click through and have a little watch if you haven't. Um, it was started off really well, really festive and then towards the end of the week I just didn't pick up my camera so we live and learn we live and learn and hopefully hopefully this week will be better so today it's quite late in the day actually i feel like it's yeah it's 20 to 2 i've had so much to do like this morning i had a couple of pieces of work that i needed to like content i needed to create and sent across for approval i still haven't had a coffee yet because i woke up and there was absolutely zero oat milk in the house like to say i was disappointed was an understatement and i 100 percent blame lewis because he was using it at the weekend so he obviously finished it and didn't tell me lewis if you're watching not impressed <laughs> so lewis actually i won't be seeing him now till after christmas he's gonna have to isolate because his dad is really vulnerable so he'll have to isolate for two weeks um so yeah i won't be seeing him last weekend was the last i was gonna see of him so yeah this week just i'm gonna i don't know try and do some festive things i think later I'm definitely gonna watch a christmas film um cook something nice for dinner i need to go to the supermarket so what i'm gonna do now is i think i'm going to go get a takeaway coffee or go and get some oat milk and stop by the supermarket as well i don't want to leave the house so it's so cold guys like how has it gotten so cold so i think what i'll do is i still haven't opened my advent calendar for today so i think i'll open my beauty and my chocolate advent calendar with you guys and then we'll head to tesco or aldi guys i actually think you're in for a bit of a treat i don't think i've opened my beauty advent calendar for a few days i think we've got five six and seven so today what's the date today today's the seven so let's go and start with what we've got in seven what is in here we have a energizing fluid i would imagine this is like a hand cream so this brand is actually pronounced loxitan which a follower very kindly let me know on instagram so that's number seven i really feel like i have six and five to do as well so let's see if we can find six and five where are you right here's five so five. Oh, this one feels quite heavy oh what have we got here so loxitan i feel do a hand creams so so well these will actually make really cute little stocking fillers so yeah another hand cream here and it's 20 percent sheer butter it feels quite a good size as well excuse my nails they are horrendous other one number six i need to find number six. Oh my god guys i feel like this is a treat I literally let everything slip this weekend honestly i just yeah didn't really do much um and here we have a water gel cleanser so guys those are my beauty bits i've got some parcels there that i'll probably unbox with you later so advent calendar time seventh where is number seven up here does that mean it's red soon find out Ooh, i am dressed this zara like puffer thing it's honestly the warmest thing ever and i've got my little tote bag my little bag for life just need to make sure i've got my keys because yeah gonna head to tesco might get a takeaway coffee as well Ooh. yeah i'll get a takeaway coffee on the way I'm gonna eat this as well. <laughs> There's something really cute and festive that I wanted to show you. Hold on. So it's from MS and it's got like glitter gold in it. But look, you press at the bottom. <gasps> look at that. Have you ever seen anything more festive in your life? Like amazing so it's from m s and it is 
clementine gin liquor in a light up snow globe it's 20 percent alcohol but i thought that would make a really nice gift if any of you want to get like a gift for someone who likes gin da -da -da -da. it's like a christmas nativity scene okay let's go you won't believe what i've just done left the house without my mask like you really would have thought coming to the end of 2020 i would have learnt my lesson by now clearly not so having to turn around and go pick up my mask love that for me guys look at all the christmas stuff in aldi these mini mince pies and these ones as well almond mince pot and then all the chocolate and biscuit selections oh my god literally they have so many things oh my god look how cute this is and these little mince pies as well oh my god look at these exquisite mince pies i might actually have to get some of these like look how good they look i am home now managed to pick myself up a takeaway coffee i get it from the green cactus they are genuinely so lovely in there so basically every time i go there i don't realize i'm doing it but unintentionally i'm like hey can i get a cappuccino with oat milk please you do have oatly don't you and apparently last week the guy said to me you know every time you come here you ask if we do oatly milk and i was like i'm so sorry i just hate outros i just wanted to check that it's oatly oat milk and then he wrote on the top of my cappuccino oatly cap with a smiley face and i just saw little things like that and they're a small independent business and i'm just happy to kind of give my support to them um i don't know what the hell's happened to my hair i think it i went out with it straight and i came back with it like this i think because you know when there's like that damp moisture in the air and my hair is naturally curly so yeah anyways oh, oh i am actually super surprised that I managed to carry all this home do you guys want to see a Audi haul I don't know but here we go I'm showing you anyway so I got some onions some chicken honestly Audi chicken for me is the best some peppers I actually picked up some diet coke because every time at the weekend when maybe i've had like a drink or something the next day i always crave a diet coke and on delivery they're like two pounds fifty and i refuse to pay two pounds fifty for a diet coke when this is 50p in aldi so i picked up two and i got some sourdough crumpets i think i'm gonna have these in a bit i'm gonna put a christmas film on i'm gonna edit some content have some crumpets i reckon also picked up some almond mince tarts like look at those aldi has so many amazing christmas things uh, what else have we got some tender stem broccoli i feel like this is all quite healthy i got some coffee pods because i ran out got some oat milk some egg whites and some blueberries oh god i think my eggs oh no they were upside down are they cracked no they're actually good so you might be thinking why have you got eggs and egg whites because i used to go through so many eggs when i do like omelets or um scrambled eggs i always do like two whole eggs and then egg whites and i was always using eggs and it was so wasteful so now when i'm doing scrambled eggs i'll do like two whole eggs and then i'll make the rest up with the egg whites so it, i just don't feel like it's as wasteful and that was two pounds on offer in tesco and i picked up one of these little plug-in what are they called like um diffuser things and it's in arctic apple pie so i'm excited to give that one a go this was 250 i think they're usually like seven pounds and if you've got a tesco club card it was 250 so oh and an avocado because i am very millennial
couldn't decide what I wanted so I went for one with jam so one sweet and then one with butter and marmite and a cup of tea in my Christmas mug good evening so I am currently sat on my laptop editing some content also got a little bit of content that i shot this morning to edit because i need to send that off for approval and i've got a christmas film on in the background so i'm watching the oh my god what's happened no it's finished this is so sad <gasps> okay well i had a Christmas film on which was the Chronicles of Christmas or the, no, the Christmas Chronicles the first one now that's finished I might just have to put the second one on like so upsetting put this candle on it's gingerbread and it smells incredible that one's sweet maple chai from Yankee Candle making the house smell so nice and cozy and festive but I think now Christmas Chronicles 2 it's come up as the next one and it's currently top 10 on Netflix so it's gonna have to happen I think it's going on Christmas Chronicles 2 number three in the UK today there we go Christmas I'm just gonna finish off what I've got to do now honestly like it's so hot in the kitchen and like living room. We can't regulate the heating. Like yesterday was freezing and today it's boiling. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'd rather be too hot than too cold. I'm just living my best Christmas cozy vlogmas life. Good morning, everyone from me and my Pinocchio pajamas. So it is Tuesday the 8th of December today. Just gone almost 20 past eight um yeah just come down to make myself a coffee another day another christmas mug i need this coffee this morning listen to this sound guys it's like music to my ears oh so i'm just gonna make this coffee quickly go back to bed um we're not going back to bed I'm gonna, I need to upload my Instagram post and then get ready for the gym because I'm gonna go with Tiff at 10.30, I think. So I am off to the gym. I'm just gonna meet my friend. We're gonna go train at King's. But I wanted to show you my new activewear set. So I actually ordered this in the Black Friday sale. It's from a brand called Adenola. And I kind of thought it might be a little bit of an Instagram hype, if I'm honest. There's loads of girls are wearing it on Instagram. But oh my god, these leggings actually feel like second skin. They've got like spandex in them. No, spandex or elastane, one or two. These are the midnight blue. And I've just got it on with my Nike Air Force Ones. And then I got the matching like long line tank top. And then this kind of powder blue. I thought this looked really nice together. And then that is what the sports bra looks like from the back. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I'm wearing small in the top, a small in the bottom, and I'm actually obsessed with this. I think it's so, so nice. Good afternoon, guys. So I'm with Tiff. We actually have like pretty much matching jackets on. <laughs> Good old Zara. We just got a takeaway coffee. I've got a nice cappuccino and Tiff's got like the tiniest cup <laughs> ever. <laughs> We're just on the way back from the gym. It is absolutely freezing today but we stopped off at green monkey so a little backstory this used to be my old road i lived here before i moved to clapham and this was my favorite coffee shop and i don't get to go there very much now even though it's not even that far from my house is it it's mm -hmm. like 10 minutes but um yeah we need to warm up after the gym it's so so cold today i think it actually might get to zero i read zero degrees tonight feels like it's already so yeah i'm gonna go home i've got some errands to run now um i need to go to the post office and i need to eat as well i'm starving so yeah very exciting <laughs> so this is what i'm listening to i need to catch up on the latest episode it's gonna keep me company on my walk with my return oh my god guys look how beautiful that sky is so pink what's the saying red sky at night shepherd's delight i'm home now from running my errands gonna make a cup of tea i've literally got you balance in the shelves 
inside a cupboard. Um, do I want a decaf tea or do I want a normal tea? Normal tea, I think. Gotta be PG tips. Um, yes, I went and had my toenail done. Red shellac. Very festive. Um, I really wanted my nails done, but they're in such bad condition right now. So I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to use some like nail strengthening and then go and have it done. That's the steam. Um, my mum's slippers actually just arrived. Well, her Christmas present. So I got her some Ugg ones. I'm going to get them wet. They're really, really nice. I'll show you. Um, hopefully she's not watching this vlog because I've completely spoiled it for her. Look how nice they are. Oh, makes me want a new pair of Uggs like so bad. Oh. I'm also going to whack on a Marmite crumpet as well because I'm feeling peckish. And I'll open my advent calendar with you. So what date is it today? Tuesday the 8th of December. I'm actually really thirsty. I need some water. Ooh. I have... Hazelnut again, I think this one is. Yeah. Hazelnut. Good. What is it? Good afternoon, everyone. So it is Wednesday. I'm losing all track of days. Wednesday, dressed like a giant bear. I'm with my wife. She is doing her lipstick. Um, so we come to Covent Garden, Somerset House, and I'm not gonna lie, look how disappointing the tree looks this year like <laughs> it's very naked on the bottom and also look shooting winter content this is the reality we're gonna do a christmas tree tour this is what we usually do every year although i feel like judging on this christmas tree it's going to be a little bit disappointing this year but this is somerset house and they have these like cute little igloos like over there and you can eat in there i think um my friends actually went there on the weekend they look so so cute I'm not sure if you can hear me but I'm on the train home now didn't manage to shoot as many outfits as I wanted because it's freezing I've actually got three jumpers on but one two and a thermal vest underneath it's not normal I don't even know what the temperature is today let's check actually see what it says we will shortly be arriving at Elephant and Castle. Change it's seven degrees. And Lies. Lies. Can you see I'm smiling underneath my mask? <laughs> the reality of shooting content in winter. I'm a massive bag lady. Just got back from Home Sense. Managed to pick up some decorations. Um, I've really been struggling this year to find any decorations that I like. So I'll show you what I got and then I'm going to put them on the tree. I am actually waiting for some really cute ones to arrive that I ordered from the white company. But they're just taking ages with Black Friday. So this is what I picked up. Some wrapping paper. This was like 3 dollars I think. This was such good value for money. Like you get bows and then for like wrapping papers or rolls that was 6.99 then i got some velvet hangers because i needed some then i got these baubles and i got these little hummingbirds which i thought were really sweet and then this little mouse which is cute and then I got two of these, which are wrapped up because they're glittery. I think these were two ninety nine each. I think they're really, really sweet. Um, they didn't actually have the greatest selection, so yeah, I picked up two of those. So I'm going to pop them on the tree now.
everyone so it's thursday the 10th of december i i'm feeling a little bit cold i've just popped out because i am working on a campaign today with a brand and i've got to create some instagram content and i had to go out and get the ingredients because it's like a food kind of collab so i'm not going to give too much away but i'm making vegan mac and cheese yes you heard it so i literally ran out i haven't even had a coffee yet so just got back gonna have a coffee literally i feel like this is the only thing i've drunk all day oh i'm gonna open my advent calendar with you and yeah get cracking with my work i even bought some oranges to because i kind of want to make the table look pretty so i've got to take some pictures so i bought some oranges and i think i might dry them in the oven and um, so if i do i will show you that but let's open the advent calendar today is the 10th oh and we have a red one chocolate for breakfast i feel a little bit like mary berry look at my cute christmas apron it's from h&m so i'm with fifi she's helping me shoot some content today so i'm going to show you guys what we've been making together the campaign is for this maple syrup oh, why does my camera never focus it's like yours fifi <laughs> so it's maple and this is what we are making vegan mac and cheese and this is what it looks like so far so it's just going to go into the oven so i topped it with breadcrumbs and i will show you on the other side fingers crossed looks good <laughs> looks really good <laughs> so guys i am very impressed with all oh, this They've all turned out so well and it actually tastes delicious. Like I wish you guys could try it. So yeah, super impressed. This was the one that I used. It's got a really nice rich taste and it's really subtle, but delicious. I haven't actually spoken to you since this afternoon when Fifi was here. Just in bed in my Grinch pajamas. Got a candle on there. It's frosty. What is that Yankee candle? Frosty gingerbread, I think. And my housemate actually lent me this book called Little Fires Everywhere. So I started reading a chapter last night and it's actually really good. And it just massively helped me to get off to sleep as well. So I think I'm going to read another chapter of this. Um, but I thought I'd let you know if anyone is looking for a good book to read. And I'm going to go to bed now. Friday tomorrow, literally this week feels like it has dragged, but yeah, good night guys. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. Friday um so I thought I would do a little kind of get ready with me I've got a few things to do today mainly errands actually like I've got to go to the post office I've got print off labels I don't have a printer and it's so annoying when they don't do QR codes I've got to go and print some stuff off and I've got to do like shoot some content this morning I want to go to the gym um so i'm just gonna do like a super super quick um kind of face of makeup i'm really not gonna put a lot of products on i have put my cc cream on oh my hair feels so greasy so I put my cc cream on which is this one um you would have seen from my previous vlog i bought a new one because look this is literally running so so low i use this primer as well it's the rodeo instant glow i'll link it for you below it is incredible guys like i love it i've used this buffing brush this is the nude by nature um it just like really works the product very naturally into your skin really needs to get my eyebrows done like they are non-existent not the one i was going to wash my hair but i think what i'm going to do is later on i will put a mask on it so i'll just leave it for today wax and dry shampoo in there and um 
put maybe some oil on the bottom because it's feeling actually it feels a little bit dry but not too dry how is everyone i did a kind of like stories on my instagram last night unpopular opinion and honestly hilarious it's so funny how people they differ so much in like their opinions like some people are saying they hate lasagna they hate pasta pizza's overrated they hate dogs i was like my mind was blown nando's is overrated i was like wow wow we definitely <laughs> are not on the same wavelength whatsoever I actually sat here i've got some like half eaten porridge you know when you just like panic and you just try to see everything like all at once i'm gonna pop on my rodeal banana low lighter which you guys absolutely need to try i'm sorry if i just saw my camera wobble i've got i bought like a new mini tripod which is great but i've currently got you balance or the tripod balance on a box which i don't think is very stable just looking for my mini beauty blender so the banana low lighter by rodeal that is what it looks like it's amazing you can i use it for under my eyes it just brightens but you can use it for like anything you can use it to highlight so i'm just gonna plop some on like that see imagine if i went out of the house like that be jokes so i just use a beauty blender i also have a concealer buffing brush whichever one you want to use and you just work it into your under eye like that so i just find that it really like brightens and then what i do is i try and like pull it along here because i've got naturally quite high cheekbones it kind of acts as like a highlighter on me and what i find is when i set it it doesn't like go it, like sit in my creases which i really like and i just really suffer from dark circles so just getting rid of those is an absolute must for me it's got a text from my friend tiff we both bought the azanola leggings you would have seen the navy ones at the like, beginning of this vlog i think she got the car key and she literally just messaged me oh my god those leggings are insane i'm like i told you honestly i have never had a pair of leggings that comfortable it's like wearing butter honestly okay so now time for powder and i'm gonna use this brush so i've recently be, been using the rodeal soft focus glow powder it looks really pretty inside like that this is amazing i got it in the tara rodeal kit i think usually this retails for like over 50 pounds so i was like i'm not gonna buy it because it's way too expensive so i got it in the kit and i just think it's the worst thing i could have the best and worst thing i could have ever done because the worst thing because it's so expensive the best thing because i bloody love it i use this brush i find this better because it's just a bit more concentrated because i get like quite a naturally oily t-zone so i focus on my t-zone first like that and then go under my under eyes a little bit more like this um so how are we all feeling i think we're eagerly awaiting boris's announcement about whether we're going like london is going back into tier three um which is annoying because i've made like quite a few festive plans like nice festive meals with my friends which probably will have to be cancelled now. I genuinely feel like Boris is messing with our emotions, don't you? Like, I actually feel he's like, yep, yeah, I'm going to allow you to go out of the house. Nope, I'm not going to allow you to go out of the house. Yep, yeah, spend time with your family at Christmas. Probably, like, he's going to cancel Christmas. Like, I don't want to jinx it. Touch my head. But I can't keep up. I literally can't keep up up okay so i'm gonna i'm not gonna bother with eyeshadow today because oh, just cba but i'm gonna use the lash lift mascara of my top lashes so this one's rodeo i'll link all the products below okay good question for you if you could only have one makeup product for the rest of your life what would it be comment below i feel like for me it would be a real tie between mascara and concealer 
I feel like concealer for me because I get really dark circles under my eyes but then mascara because it just makes me look more awake but then what about my brows like look you can see they're like non-existent not the one and then bottom lashes with the oh what is this called Ico London I think I got this in a goodie bag and it's actually really really good it's the black magic mascara for drama and curl I tend to use it on my bottom lashes because I, I don't know I just I, I don't know why I feel like that one when I use it on my bottom lashes transferred a little bit and this one doesn't seem to do that so I mean is that weird is that just me am I the only one who who does that um, I'm just gonna make sure that that's powdered under there so it doesn't crease. I can't do my mascara talking to you guys. I'll probably poke myself in the eye. And when you do that with your mascara, is it not the most painful thing ever? I'm like, ah, my eye starts watering. I can't deal. I literally can't deal. There we go. More awake. Honestly, I love makeup now i'm gonna do my brows if i can find if i keep my little lilo and stitch makeup bag is if this is a nude by nature one i actually need to get another one i just really like it because you just brush it through your brows and even though my brows are really light it gives me just a really nice like effect although i really like my brows need to be done i feel like i need to do that uh, probably on monday but you know you really have to time it so well if i have them threaded and then tinted i find that i get like little pimples around my eyebrows and nobody wants that just in time for christmas so yeah i literally just brush through how much of a difference it makes and it's just super natural like it really catches the hairs i really really like this product i actually need to top up on it asap and it looks amazing when my brows are actually properly shaped but you don't really have to worry too much because it's supposed to be like a messy brow look so now i'm gonna do the other one so there we go i always say as well your eyebrows should not be twins they are sisters so it's not always about perfection girlies i'm just gonna whack some dry shampoo in my hair and get some oil as well have yourself a very merry christmas also one of the unpopular opinions on my instagram stories yesterday was that you hate well someone said actually a couple of people said they hate the michael buble christmas album so comment below guys with your thoughts i'm just gonna pop the olaplex bonding oil i'll link this below i love this because it's just so lightweight like i've tried some oils before on my hair that just make them feel so just like drenched and weighed down whereas this one doesn't do that so i'm just going to use can you see that oh, tiny amount i rub it in my hands first of all and then just run it through the lengths and ends of my hair and it just adds shine it's great to put on your hair when it's damp as well because it also acts as a heat protector it smells amazing it's like got a kind of fruity undertone to it it's so nice but i'm really really crap at describing scents so guys i'm gonna get ready now and head to the post office depot before it shuts so i will catch you in a little bit i'm gonna get a coffee from here look at all the amazing cakes what a flattering angle so guys picked up my takeaway coffee from blackbird if you live in streatham their oat lattes oat cappuccinos and their cakes are divine so i always get really awkward when vlogging in public i'm like oh no oh no oh no i cringe so bad um so yeah i've had a really productive like hour of running errands i had to go and print some labels and then go to the depot i picked up my fake tan it's the filter by molly may i picked up three bottles in the black friday sale because it was 30 percent off so 
had to take advantage of that amazing discount. I think I saved myself like 20 quid. So that's amazing. And then went to the post office, returned some things. One of my QR codes wasn't downloading, which is annoying. So got that in my bag. And I've got a mince pie to treat myself to when I get in. So girls and boys, wild Friday night for me. I'm just gonna go for a quick gym session. I really don't wanna go, but I haven't been in a few days and I feel like it will make me feel better. So off I go, hi ho, hi ho. In Adenola, again, honestly, I haven't taken these leggings off. They are legit, like, they feel like butter, like they feel like second skin. They are in incredible so i'm gonna put my puffer coat on what's the time 12 minutes past six i'm gonna have a coffee call me crazy but i'm feeling quite tired so i might kind of use it as my pre-workout and um yeah hopefully have a decent session i'm about to terrify you all i'm so sorry i currently have a nip and fab salient is that how you say it mask on my face um and i've got a hair mask in my hair i've had it on for a couple of hours it's the philip kingsley elasticizer mask i look like a ghost um wild friday nights for me ate some dinner started watching ava on netflix and i think i'm probably just gonna get an early night it's half 10 gonna be up tomorrow um i think i'm gonna go to the little farmer's market in clapham so i'll take you along with me they do the most amazing truffle brie um and we're having a house roast tomorrow so i think i'm gonna get some for that so yeah i'm gonna say good night to you from me and my very pale face and i will see you guys tomorrow so this is my outfit today i've got this really cozy maxi kind of long line teddy coat on which is from asos i will link it below for you guys and then i've just got it on with a cable knit jumper dress from h&m it's really nice it's like long sleeved and high necked and then i've got my zara khaki rubberized boots which i think are actually really really cool my outfit of the day let me know what you think of it below got some asos parcels there as well so i'll probably unbox those with you as well because it's some festive things for some christmas content and i need to take the recycling out that very offensive blue ikea bag but yeah cozy 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 i do have a thermal vest underneath this don't worry guys and very long woolly socks on as well so guys made it to the little farmer's market in clapham look at all the cute little stalls i'm going to show you the cheese one as well this coffee is really good too this is the infamous cheese stall with the truffle brie oh my god i got my brie in here i'm gonna show you when i get home yum so guys my decorations have finally arrived from the white company so i'm gonna show you quickly these honestly have taken like two and a half weeks to arrive so i am literally expecting big big things oh my god they're so much smaller than expected um so we have these very cute glittery pairs i did read a few reviews about those on the website that the glitter drops so i'm hoping that it doesn't drop too much so i got a couple of those they've got is it gold glitter no silver glitter silvery gold so i thought those were really cute and then i'm going to try and get some red ribbon as well oh look at that little snowflake that's so cute i think i got two of those okay so what i will say is the website made these look a lot more sturdy than they are so this is quite flimsy but they are really really cute that's another snowflake i can't remember what i got this is so exciting um oh a very very glittery 
acorn. Oh my god, it's literally like tinsel town over here. Oh, this is oh. adorable. So this is a little wish sign. Oh, I love that. Look at that. It's so pretty. Um and what else have I got here? I also want to get some red ribbon just to tie in little bows. So I did have a look on Amazon, but they didn't really seem to have any. I've really struggled with Christmas decorations this year. Um oh my god. <laughs> look at that little dove. So cute. And then I keep dropping these, literally butter fingers over here. Um, what's this? I'm sure I ordered two glass baubles. Okay, got another glittery acorn. Acorn? That's lonely. I'm so lonely. This is acorn. Um, yeah, I'm sure I ordered two big baubles. I need to read the docket for that. And then lastly, I think this might be another dove. Well, no, maybe I got, oh no, I got three glittery acorns. There we go. So I'm going to pop those on the tree now. We are cooking a house roast and this is the chicken before it goes into the oven. And... We've got some parsnips and carrots there. I mean, I think this is way too many potatoes. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how this turns out. I stuffed it with lemon, rosemary, thyme, garlic. If you're vegan, I'm really sorry. So guys, in my festive Merry Christmas to you all. I don't feel like I've given you a backstory. So my housemate is going home for Christmas tomorrow, Sunday the 13th, is it? Yeah, um, so as a house, we are having a festive meal, basically replicating Christmas dinner and so far it's going well. So I'm in charge of the chicken and the veg I actually need to put the veg in in a second that just reminds me and i've just made some mulled wine so i'm gonna dish it out now because it's literally one of my favorite things and we have cheese mince pies bailey's cream yule log yorkshire puddings spuds the works that's mulled hey, wine that's hot. Oh, yeah <laughs> Oh my god! I actually think it looks amazing. And we've got, oh god, steamed up pigs in blankets. So I'm gonna go ahead now and conclude the vlog. I don't think you can see me actually. There we go. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed it, guys, and cheers.